Welcome to Schomburg Ultimate Hoops. I'm here with Jeff McCammon, the matchup master. Uh, Jeff, you had some pretty good success your first two weeks. I know you were off last week, um, but how do, how, do, how do you rate your performance? Well, I'm, a, I'm the matchup master, so uh, master, you know, means the best. So, uh, bring you the best matchups for you hoops. <laughs> I see you're wearing a nice uh, Heart of the Champion shirt tonight. Uh, representing, are you a champion in Ultimate Hoops yet? Hey, uh, definitely not, because we're definitely you know one and two, so that's not you know the work of a champion. But we'll bring it back. But um, I had to go with the old school T-shirt. You know. All right, <laughs> uh, Jeff. I believe you told me that your matchup for Week Five is going to be Limitless versus Free Balling. You got one side. You got Limitless with uh, Fred Taylor, Jarvis Cobb, Barry Bailey, um, and then the other side you got. John Shadipo, Dan Judd, monster rebounder down there, and uh, you know three baller Mark Piamonte. So break that one down a bit. Um, you know, well, free balling has uh, John Show. He's super athletic. Um, I feel like the only person who can really guard him is Fred Taylor. And um, the thing is, Fred Taylor is going to be occupied with the big fella. You know, um, Dan Judd. big fella Dan Judd. So um, I don't see how he can guard both. I feel like that's going to be a little bit of a um, you know, advantage for lim or, um, free balling. But uh, also, Jarvis is really going to spread the floor for Freddie. You know, he's going to give him some room. You know, that's why I feel like it's the best matchup. <laughs> I feel like uh, Freddie and John will be the matchup of the week because um, at the end of the day, they're super athletic. You know, they're super versatile. They can both rebound and they can verse re both really score. Um, do you think, how do you think Fred's game has evolved this season into being more of a playmaker? Um, and keeping his teammates uh, engaged without Sean Richardson bringing the ball up. Do you think he's gotten better at that? I think he's had to. You know, I think he's been comfortable with um, Sean, you know, putting guys in positions to score all the time. And um, now with the double teams coming for Fred, Fred's so, you know, athletic and he's such a threat that um, at the end of the day, the double team's going to come, you know, and uh, I think he's done a good job of handling it, you know, passing the ball. Um, who do you think is going to take this game, and what's going to be the main key for that team to win it? I'd honestly have to say that I think Limitless is going to win because um, I don't think they can, you know. Actually, I'm going to change it. I'm going to change. Okay, okay I'm going to say free ball is going to win because they don't have the ability to guard John and um, the big fella down low. Um, Dan Judd. Dan Judd, there we go. I don't think they, you know, have the versatility to guard both of them. I think they're both too, you know, big down low, and that's going to really force, you know, them to have the advantage with offensive rebounding throughout the whole game. So, do you think um, a player like Johnny Rep for free balling or Ryan Cobb or Barry Bailey are going to have a big impact on this game outside the superstars? I think they definitely can. Um, you know. I think that I think that'll also ultimately, you know, decide the you know the winning factor. Seeing which people can be that X factor, you know, which people can come to play. You know, if Johnny comes to play, he can of course be a very big influence. You know, he can bring the ball up, hit shots, you know, and make plays. So you know, um, I feel like honestly, if any of those guys come and bring that extra, you know, factor, they can definitely boost their team over the top. But at the same time, I feel like with the athleticism of John mixed in with um, Dan Judd's, you know, physicality, that's going to really force the other team to choose, you know. And once they choose, I feel like the other teams, or I feel like free ball is going to have an advantage, you know, throughout the game, you know, a mismatch right there. Is this going to be a close game, or do you think one team's going to pull up, or do you think uh, free ball is going to pull ahead? I think it'll be close. I think it'll be close, though. I definitely think it'll be close. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, there it is. We got Jeff's pick for week five. He's got free balling, taking out Limitless. Come see the game, see how it unfolds. This guy's got it right so far. <laughs>